Hello everyone, Kalina of Story Retold, and we are playing a game in Countdown for the third game release of Marcella Moon. Now, Marcella Moon, this is the first one, Sab Secrets on the Hill, I'm getting them mixed up, Secret on the Hill, and the third game is coming uh, October 1st. So, I haven't played these games yet. It's an independent uh, game developer uh, by Hid Hidden Ocean Games, so we're going to get right into playing. I'm playing this blindly. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. So after the opening um, title card, which was just the title of Marcella Moon's Secret on the Hill, it arrived here. Okay. Oscar, so great to hear from you. How's it going? We've got our magnifying glass cursor. Marcella. Oh, that's... Okay, okay. So that's me? Am I Marcella? Okay, click. Oscar Martinez. Martinez. Hey, Marcella, things could be better. Are you still in Europe? I may have a case for you. <gasps> yes, what's wrong? I need help finding one of my colleagues, Amelia Goldstone. She went to Ireland to research her upcoming book, but I haven't heard from her in almost a week, and I'm getting worried. Oh no, was she there by herself? Yes, she's been staying at the Rowan Tree Inn for the past couple months. We've been talking on a regular basis about her work. That is, until this past week. I haven't heard anything from her. I take it that's unusual. Amelia's fairly independent, and admittedly, it's not unlike her not to not answer the phone. But I think it's odd that she's not in contact with anyone since her book deadline is coming up. I can't say for sure what's going on, especially since I'm not there, but it'd be strange for her to just take off without saying a word. Have you contacted the police? Yes, and I also talked to the innkeeper at the Rowan Tree. They said she checked out of the inn a few days ago. They're keeping an eye out for her, but without any evidence of foul play, they've said there's not much more they can do. As far as they're concerned, there isn't a case here at all. But do you think there was foul play? I don't know. I can't think of a reason why there would be, but I can't shake the feeling that something is wrong. I see. I know you're good at solving these kinds of cases, so I just thought that if you got your feet on the ground, you could find something that would let us know she's safe. Don't worry, I'll find out where she is. You can count on me to figure this out. I'll pack my bags and head there ASAP. Just give me a call if you have any more questions. So we're in Ireland? I like that. Erin O'Sullivan. Of course, here's your key. You'll be staying in room 102, the first door on the left when you enter the inn. Do you need help with your bags? I'm fine, thank you. Make yourself at home. Don't get too many guests. We don't get too many guests at the height of rainy season. And unfortunately, the rainy season is long. What I'm saying is, I'm guessing you won't have too much noise bothering you during your stay. I appreciate your hospitality. straight to the point. I understand that Amelia Goldstone has been staying here for a few months. She has, and I'm grateful. Thanks to her staying so long, I've had enough money to start mending the fence out back. When did she check out of the inn? Hmm, it must have been Thursday, four days ago. I'm going to take notes. Stone was one of the quieter guests we've had around the inn. She seemed to be very focused on her work. She only came down to get her meals mainly. Aside from that, I don't concern myself too much with the comings and goings of my guests. I make sure they have a nice place to stay and are well fed, and from there I tend to mind my own business. Do 
you know of anywhere she liked to go while she was here? I imagine the same places all of our visitors go. The beach, the museum, the mountain, maybe to Finn's pub. You have a beautiful inn here. How long have you owned it? The Rowan Tree Inn has been in my family for five generations. My parents ran it before me, and their parents before them. Thanks, that's all for now. Okay, so if we go up to our room, can we do that? Can we go up there? Okay, maybe not. Or maybe it's this door on the left. Yeah, okay, I thought it was upstairs for some reason. Bed, lovely bed. Ah, desk. Can't look at that. Can look at this? Ooh. Legends of Ireland by Amelia Goldstone. Oh, she left her paper. Sligo for four months while she researches her upcoming book about local myths and legends. From what I understand, she was trying to talk to locals and look through the local history archives to get information for her book. Why is Amelia so interested in the folk tales of Ireland? I think she feels that, like, these are stories that need to be preserved. Sligo, in particular, that's where you are now, is an area that is steeped in mythology, from stories of the ancient Celts roaming Ben Bulbin Mountain to more recent stories about fairies calling the area home. It's a very significant area of Ireland. If you ask around long enough, you'll find stories of fairies, giants, pirates, and other wild things. But believe in some of these stories is fading fast in our modern times. I think she saw a magic in the stories that she wanted to share with others. I don't know if 
if this is anything in particular I should be writing down. I'm just gonna make a note that there's info in this shop. Nice picture. The fairy door. Very kidnappings. Fairy realm. Huh. How to keep the fairies on your side. <laughs> Always pick up your trash, recycle, and tend to the plants and animals around you. Be kind to other humans, especially those who are vulnerable or in need. Don't disturb the fairy circle. A fairy circle is often made from a ring of natural materials like stones or mushrooms. Interesting. How do you pronounce this person's name? I do not know. Suarez? Sorcy? Hi. Hello, and welcome to Sligo Gift Shop. Here, you'll find all of your fairy souvenirs, jewelry, dolls, fairy wings, you name it. What brings you to town? I'm investigating the disappearance of Amelia Goldstone. Oh, well in that case, I'm Sorcy O'Reilly, owner of this shop. I've heard about Miss Goldstone, and frankly, I'm quite concerned. Why is that? This area is well known throughout the world for its supernatural activity. It's been haunted by the good people for many centuries. Good people? You mean fairies? Yes, fairies are known to live in this area, up on Ben Bulban Mountain, right outside of town. It's said to be the only, one of the only places in the world where humans can see fairies with their bare eyes. Sometimes the fairies like to cause trouble for the townsfolk, and in some cases they've been known to kidnap humans who cross their paths. Are you saying you think Amelia was kidnapped by fairies? I can tell you don't believe me, but you should take what I'm saying seriously. If the good people have Amelia, they would be very that would be very bad for her. Why? In Ireland, fairies aren't some frilly pretty children's plaything. Fairies can be dangerous. Human encounters with fairies have resulted in people being kidnapped, going mad, or worse. Have you ever had an encounter with a fairy? Well, I've never seen one if that's what you mean, but strange things have happened in this town. Things being moved around, people claiming they heard something someone speaking when no one was around. I personally try to avoid any contact with the good people. You just never know what might happen if one of them takes a shine into you. Why would a fairy have taken Amelia? Lots of reasons. Angry fairies take away adults who disrespect animals or nature. Some fairies might just want to be entertained or need a human to help them with some task. Nice fairies take children away to play. Do you ever feel like you lost time as a child? I'm not sure. Sometimes fairies will take a child away to play games. Sometimes the child doesn't remember any of it, but sometimes they come back having seen some other world. Of course, parents just think it's the child's imagination. By the time the child has grown up, they'll have shrugged it away. Has Amelia come in here often? She's been in here quite a few times. She's very interested in stories about the fairies and other local legends. She's been one of my best customers. What do you think of the innkeeper, Erin O'Sullivan? She's pretty nice. She's a very talented gardener. She comes in every day to set up the flower display in the gift shop. I should get going. Okay. Oh, more things. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. <gasps> a puzzle? A puzzle? I like puzzles. Okay, looks like there's a piece missing. How can you tell? Okay, I guess I have to look for it. In this display, Grace O'Malley's Cutlass, Diary of Catherine Brown, Grace's Descendant, Spanish Coins found aboard one of the Grace's, one of Grace's ships. Ooh, Grace O'Malley, Fearsome Lady Pirate. Uh, 
it's a fun story. I'm just skimming through it. Oh, we got lots to read here. Treasures. Since there were no banks, people would sometimes bury their treasures away from their homes in order to hide it from criminals. Oh, metal detecting. Probably because of that treasure. Since then, metal detecting for treasure has been outlawed in Ireland. That's something you lose at sea. Hello, hello. George McGee. Who's there? My name is Marcella. What? Marcella. Umbrella. Sir, I need to come back later in the middle of my nap. <laughs> not going to answer. Alright, so we're going to need a puzzle piece here. Is the guy in the back room the museum curator? Oh yes, that's George McGee. He's been in charge of the museum for 43 years. Poor guy doesn't want to retire. He's getting a bit forgetful though, so I tend to help him out, seeing as my store is connected to the museum. I wasn't able to talk to him. Do you know much about the museum exhibit in there? The items in there are on loan from the National Museum of Ireland. We get some good stuff to our little museum due to George being well known in the museum world. We rotate the items out every few months and then we have to send them back. I help with putting up the displays and making the signs. You should check out the exhibit that's in there now before we have to send it back. It's about lost treasure. Pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, I checked it out. Alright, so we went there. Go, is that a church? Um, let's go to this place right here. Oh, wow! Hello! Do you have drinks? Finn McCool. How's it going there? Hi, are you Finn McCool? I see my reputation precedes me. A good one, I hope. Of course, I was told I should speak with you. I'm looking for Amelia Goldstone. I think she came in here quite a bit. Yeah, she was in here sometimes. Such a small town, you know? So not many entertainment options. We can always come in here. Maybe get a bit of live music and some of the best jokes in town. Wanna hear one? Sure. Why would you never iron a four-leaf clover? You don't want to press your luck. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Good one. That was a fake laugh if I ever heard one. You're almost as serious as Amelia. She didn't have much time for my jokes either. She was always scribbling away in her little notebooks. Wow, we can talk to him about a lot. seen Amelia anywhere else around town. Yeah, I've been down at the beach a lot lately, working on my tan, of course. I've seen her there a lot, sitting and reading, or walking back and forth along the shore. I think she's as fond of the sea as I am. She wasn't swimming by herself, was she? I've heard the storms around here can be nasty. Nah, just working and walking. Winter weather's no good for swimming. It's always raining or about to rain. As you said, the storms have been fierce lately. Did Amelia talk to anyone when she was in here? You'll find a lot of friendly folk here. A new face in town will always attract some attention. She and Sorcy would sometimes talk about the fairies. Sorcy will talk about fairies to anyone who will listen. Do you have any reason to believe Amelia could be in trouble? I can't imagine what kind of trouble she could have gotten into around here. It's a small town and peaceful folk at that. The biggest case, the Garda has had around here lately is the case of the Mrs. Dalhousie's missing goats. <laughs> I don't think you've had anything to worry you have anything to worry yourself about, lass. Uh, what do you think of the local fairy legends? I'm not much of a believer, but my gran would tell you a different story. What do you mean? 
When I was a wee, she told me about the time the fairies came for her. She was just a babe. Her parents were outside when they heard a lot of noise, dogs and sheep raising a ruckus. So her mo mom and pop came running in from the fields. They found my grand laying on the ground by the front door, still swaddled in all her blankets. They say the fairies were trying to take Gran away, but when they heard someone approaching, they ran off. Well, that's quite a tale. Uh, what have you got on the menu today? Hmm, let's see what the cook has prepared for us today. Madge, what's on the menu today? We've got take it or leave it. I like it. I like it. I guess I'll have the take it then. Don't mind, Madge. Poor thing has woken up on the wrong side of the bed every day for the last 30 years. Do I get food? Do you have any other jokes? The quickest way to double your money is to fold it in half and put it back in your pocket. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. All right, can we explore anything in here? Nope. All right, oh, where did I end up now? How did I, oh, <gasps> what's this? Where I last laid anchor, said goodbye to the sea, and ascended the hill to the rowan tree. In hand my compass and worthy saber, there I laid to rest the fruit of my labor. Oh, her treasure? Where nor mortal force would dare to seek, for the wind did howl and the stone stones did speak. Would dare to seek. Okay, no one will look in this area, because the wind was loud and the stones said things. Is this a riddle? Last laid anchor, said goodbye to the sea, and ascended the hill to the rowan tree. Okay. There's a keyhole. Wait, let me see. <gasps> okay. Okay. Wait. Um, where am I? Oh, okay. That's over here. So if I click on this, it just takes me to the far end. Okay, blue building. Hi, Ranger Shanahan. Hi, I'm Marcella Moon. I'm looking for Ranger Shanahan. That would be me. How can I help you? I'm looking for Amelia Goldstone, and I was hoping you could help. Have you seen her lately? No, not recently. I believe she checked out of the Rowan Tree Inn a while back. Yes, but no one has heard from her. Her family is worried, and no one around here seems to be too concerned. I'm sorry to hear that you're worried about your friend. Have you tried her cell phone? Yes. No answer. That's a head-scratcher. Do the folks down at the Garda station know you're looking for her? Yes, I've talked to the police. They think there's nothing to worry about. Oh, well, then I would try not to worry too much either. The folks down at the station do a great job. Are you ever involved with missing persons investigations? <laughs> what does this look like, the NYPD? We don't get a lot of crime around here. Sure, someone will get lost on the mountain every once in a while, and I'll have to go up with the other volunteer mountain rescue crew to find them. That's about it. That said, if anything was going on on park lands, as the relieved ranger, I'd be the first to know. Could Amelia have gone up the mountain by herself? I hope not. I don't advise people to go up the mountain without a guide. It can be very unforgiving terrain if you don't know where you're going. There are lots of holes, and it's very slippery right now because of the rain. Amelia doesn't like much of an doesn't seem like much of an outdoors woman. Hopefully, she wouldn't be foolish enough to go up there on her own. I mean, she might with research, you know. I've been told Amelia likes to go to Street Street Dog Beach. Oh, there's more to that. Oh, sorry, I missed it. I have seen her around the beach, but it has been some time. I'll keep my eyes peeled. I'm curious about Ben Bulbin Mountain. What can you tell me? Feel free to take one of our spiffy new park flyers in the corner. Ben Bulbin Mountain is one of our most popular attractions in Sligo County. We offer one tour per day, so come check it out if you have time. What do you think of the supernatural stories about Ben Bulbin Mountain? All old nonsense. Do you talk about fairies on your tours? It's a topic many visitors are interested in, so I do talk about it. I myself prefer to just enjoy the nature, the fresh air, the green plants, the changing shadows on the landscape when the sun peeks out for a few seconds. Thanks. 
All right. Visit Ben Bulbin. Five hour trip. Okay. Is that the only one I can look at? Yeah. Okay. I wonder if I should just go to the mountain. All right. So I've been in that building, that one, and that one. That has a keyhole. I'm missing a puzzle piece. Um, can I go here? All right, let's just move on. Where does this take me? Oh! That's cool. What's this? Little place. It's locked. Can I go around? It's a locked little shack. Okay. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. That must be Ben Wilbur Mountain. Okay, I guess that's... I can't go there, though. Yeah, it's locked. And I can't do anything else. Okay, so that's the beach. next I don't see any missing puzzle pieces I'll skim through this real quick can't talk to her again wonder if that poem on the um, on the fountain is about Grace O'Malley. Grace O'Malley. Cool, cool. Um, I was standing about where she hid her treasure. I believe it might have been the tree. Okay. Hello. Okay. I. He won't. He won't let it be. All right. What do I do now? Should I go back to my phone at the? <gasps> Wait. What's this? upstairs. lately. Instead of being holed up in my room all day, though, I've been taking long walks at Street Out Beach. It's a small beach and walking distance from the inn. There aren't many people at the beach this time of year, so it's very peaceful. March 11. While I was walking along the beach today, I found something strange. An old anchor that looks like it might have some historical significance. It was too heavy to bring back with me, so I dragged it onto the shore and left it next to the cave. In the beach. Oh, I should look for that. I plan to let the local authorities know about it first thing tomorrow. 
Whoa, anchor. That's cool. Someone's coming in. Oh. Hide in the closet. This is the closet. What? The sword. I know you took it from the museum. I'm going to be in big trouble if I don't find it. I didn't take any sword. Don't lie to me. I know all about you digging holes around town looking for treasure. Oh, don't bring that up again. I've already apologized about that. Uh, better have it back soon. Swords here. Great. Wait. Maybe I wanted to see that panel. Oh. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. I'm beginning to think there's something more here than meets the eye. I just got off the phone with the Garda. That's the local police. I let them know that I found Amelia's diary in the room where she was staying at the inn. It sounds like she might have found something important around a week ago when she disappeared. Wow, I knew something was up. It also sounds like someone broke into the local museum last night. And you think it's related? It could be. I need to do more digging. At least now, though, the police are taking this investigation more seriously. They said I'll start looking for Amelia, too. They'll, they'll start looking for Amelia, too. I've told them everything I know so far. Do you have any suspects? Yes, I need to learn more about... Finn McCool. All right, well, you better keep looking. I will. Do you think Amelia believed in the folk stories she was writing about? Like fairies or pirates treasure or giants? I think she felt they were important stories. Irish land has such a rich history that spans back thousands of years. Vikings, pirates, Irish clans, and all kinds of people lived on the land. The story showed us what people valued, what they feared, and how they explained away things they had no explanation for. They also show us how people have changed over time. No, I don't think she believed all of the stories, but I think she wanted to get them on paper before no one believed in them anymore. Okay. Alright, let's talk to Aaron. No, nothing. Okay. Can't go upstairs because she's watching. Okay. Let's talk to... Oh, Finn McCool. Can't talk to him. Hey, I want some food, though. What happened last night? Oops, that's not what I wanted to click on. <laughs> my bad. It's awful. Someone broke into the museum and took Grace O'Malley's sword. Whoever did it didn't even break the glass. They must have had a key. Man, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Who else besides you and George had a key to this building? It's just us, but George sometimes forgets to lock up. If he wandered off last night and left the doors unlocked, anyone could have waltzed right in here. I see. I know it must look bad. You probably don't believe me, but I did not take the sword. Who do you think it was, then? I think it was Finn McCool. He's already been caught snooping around town, digging in people's yards, looking for buried treasure. What? Just last year, Finn was caught digging near one of the trees at the Rowan Tree Inn. Aaron was furious. I don't think she turned up him in, but he had to agree not to come back to the inn ever again. She still stares daggers at him whenever they cross paths. She's one of the only people who doesn't turn up at Finn's pub. That's interesting because he was snooping, or he wanted to see something in Amelia's room, and Aaron let him in. So something must have changed. Wow, small town drama. Finn's got no respect for things that he shouldn't go disturbing. Rowan trees are known to be fairy territory. What's next? Digging up a fairy circle itself? You disturb the wrong area and you'll be sorry. Fairies do not take kindly to people messing with their homes. 
This is terrible. I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. And so is George. I feel bad for him. He loves this museum. Alright, can I talk to George? not there. Alright, nothing seems out of place here. Nothing seems out of place here. Oh, we can talk to him a lot about stuff. Did Amelia mention to you that she found something at the beach? Nope. Have you ever found someone digging on park lands? No, but if I did, that would be vandalism. I wouldn't take kindly to that. Part of my job is to patrol and make sure people aren't misbehaving on park lands. Do you think there's treasure buried somewhere on Benvolvena Mountain? Maybe. Eh, probably. There have been too many stories about it for there not to be. But it's a big mountain and rugged. You could look and look, but without knowing where exactly to dig, you'd probably just end up with nothing to show for it. What do you think of Ben McCool? He's always wanted to move town. Some people like the small town mentality, but Ben's different. He loves to meet new people and have new experiences. He would do almost anything to get out of here. George McKee. Can't think of a bad thing to say about George. He's been a pillar of our community for 76 years. I remember when he used to play the fiddle on Saturdays down at the fountain in the town center. People would sing and dance. We think of Sorcy. Well, she acts all mysterious and mystical. She really puts on an impressive show for the tourists with all that very stuff. But I grew up with her, and I see her for who she is. A shrewd businesswoman. How about Erin? Sure runs a tight ship down at the end. Right. Okay, I mean, there's the riddle again. I don't see anything else. I mean, I kind of want to go on these other buildings, but um, maybe we should examine where the anchor might have been. Is that important? To see. Anchor equals to see. And there's a rope. Oh, I took the rope. Okay. Okay, I got a rope. That's great. Still locked. Little shack. Uh, and I can't go up there. Okay, okay. What am I gonna do with this Finn, I need you to be honest with me. Did you break into the museum last night? I most certainly did not. Who told you that? Sorcy. Oh, Sorcy, Sorcy. She's a bit. Do Lally, if you ask me. She's not playing with the full deck, if you know what I mean. I know about you digging around in people's backyards. That's pretty incriminating. All right, yes, there are things to be found buried around here. There are rumors about Grace O'Malley herself writing, hiding treasure somewhere in this town. You must have seen the riddle. It's right in our town square. When you grow up with that riddle taunting you every time you come into town as we lad, you've got to be at least a little curious. So yes, I've taken a crack at finding some treasure, but it's all in good fun. You've got to entertain yourself somehow, living in Sligo for 33 years. Marcella, I wouldn't go around listening to gossip in this town. You're likely to find yourself in a wild goose chase. I haven't a clue who broke into the museum, but it wasn't me. You haven't found anything while treasure hunting. Not really. I found a wristwatch one time, but mostly I found lots and lots of dirt. But others have found things. Tommy Fitzgibbons was working on his in his backyard when he dug up a wee box with a gold bracelet in it. The man got a handsome reward for finding it. Apparently it was a relic, and he wasn't even looking. I figure if I'm actually looking, one day I'll get lucky too. What do you make of Grace O'Malley and Riddle? The, the, the Riddle. Can't make sense of it, really. 
Somewhere on a spooky hill, near a rowan tree, by the sea. That could be anywhere around here. Alright. Oops. Alright. Okay, I can't, can't talk to her. There's still a piece missing. Missing anything in particular? Huh. All right. Let's go back to the inn. Ooh, is it foggy? Or is it just me? I heard that Finn dug a hole in your backyard. And gossip and I see. And thinks he's going to find Grace and Molly's treasure. Thing is, he hasn't got a clue where to look. I think the boy's not too bright. If it was raining soon, he'd go out with a fork. I can't go up there. Oh! <gasps> what? How did this get here? We've been watching you. Find us the treasure and we'll send her home. Is this a kidnapping and a hostage situation? Okay, time to call the coppers. How do I get out of here? Oh. <gasps> There's something in the handle of the sword. It looks like some sort of compass. It's the compass! <gasps> I took the compass. Awesome. Um, I should probably report this. Can I call the cops? I can't talk to Oscar about it. I found a threatening note in my room. Have you seen any, anyone unusual come through the inn? Oh dear, are you alright, Lass? I haven't seen anyone.
compass. Where am I supposed to use the compass? Well, now what? Now what do I do? The music is quite lovely. I do like it. Can't talk to him. In hand, my compass and worthy saber. There I laid to rest. Fruit of my labor. So that's where she buried her treasure. Where I last laid anchor. Say so goodbye to the sea and ascended the hill to the Roman tree. So we have to go up Ben Bulbin Mountain um, with the compass. Find a Roman tree up there. Where no, no mortal force would dare to seek. So what, like a fairy circle or something? The fairies? For the wind did howl and the stones did speak. I'm guessing like a waterfall or something. What if I want to go up the mountain? Hmm. Yeah, because I mean, I really want to go. gem. I'll promise I'll bring it back. Are you crazy? That's my lucky emerald. If I give it away, this whole place could be come crashing down at any second. It's really important. Is there any way you could manage without it for a little while? Oh, I don't know. I'll tell you what. If you <clears throat> if you can help me with these jokes I'm writing, I'll let you borrow it for today. If you don't bring it back, you'll be in big trouble, Missy. Thank you. What do you need me to do? If you can help finish the punchlines of these jokes I wrote, that would be a big help. Oh, puzzle time! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna have uh, some more coffee. Oh, what has hands but can't clap? Clock. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? These are like riddles. I like it. Oh, what is it? What is that? Unscrambled. Ooh, I'll come back to that one. What kind of band never plays music? A band. Rubber band. Well, I can play music if you're weird enough. Okay. What building has the most stories? I like this one. A library. Okay, what kind of rock is light as a feather? Rock, huh? This is a long word. These are well scrambled too, by the way. Hmm. Rock. Rock. Is light as a feather. I wouldn't say rock music. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? Let's try unscrambling some of these word letters.
How about the other one? Kind of rock is lies together. We've got the letter K, which is always a difficult letter to get into a word. Um, unless it's like CK or KN. There's an S in there. It could be at the beginning or middle or end. But if we end it with, look at the vowels here. There's O and A. Not very many. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. It's shamrock, right? Check it. All right, so now it's just this one right here. Shamrock, light as a feather, I like that. I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. Sunset. Not any kind of foliage. Tall a drink. Um, let's just rearrange the letters a little bit. What do we got here? N. Okay, the letter C is kind of hard to go with, so what if we did A N C E? Not a lance. Dance. Could spell dance in there, but we're do about the L. What is this? This is this has got me. This has really got me. I have no idea. What if we just start typing some things? What happens then? I don't think so. Okay. She does have a negative response, so that's good. I get feedback. I like it. Um, young, old. I bet you it's N C E. Candle. Oh my goodness, it's candle. Wow, that was good. Hmm, that you did. Okay, you can borrow my most prized possession, but you better take good care of it. I've got a gem. Oh, nice. All right, can we use that on the puzzle here? Got all the pieces. Huzzah. All right, what are the instructions here? It looks like I need to arrange the gem so that there is only one of each color and shape per column and row. Okay, great. Oh wait, so these are already in place. Okay, so we've got a heart. We've got uh, four colors and looks like five, five shapes. Wait, no, is this just the, on the other side? It's just, no, wait. We've got roundish ones. Say that again. Shape. Column and row. Okay. Well, well, let's focus on stars. Oh. Oh, cool. Whoa. It's kind of gliding. Okay. Um. Whoa. Um. So we need. Okay. Diamond and green. So green can't go in this row, and the diamond cannot go in any of these rows or across. So it looks like the only place to put it would be 
Well, actually, there's a couple places. Can it go? It can't go there. It has to go here. I'm guessing. Yeah, because it can't. It can't go this row, this column, or this row, or this row, or this column. So it, I mean, it can't go here either because of this. All right, I think that's where that belongs. We have hearts. <laughs> Think, 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 think. We do need a blue in here somewhere, but so let's not worry about that. Um, oh, yellow, yellow. Yellow has to be right here because we can't put yellow here. And it can't be, it, it could be red. It can't be blue. Can't be, cannot be yellow or blue. Could be red. Uh, red what? Red, um... Oh. No, it has to be, like, right here. And it can't be a diamond. It could be a star. Oh, goodness. Well, it can't be the red star. So, it has to be a red... Not a diamond. Red circle. Whoa, the connects are a little bit slippery. All right, I think that's where that goes. Okay, so we just need a yellow here and it's got to be a star because we don't have a star in this. Oh, it's gonna be difficult moving this stuff around. Come on, get back. Stay, stay, stay. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Great. All right, now we just need a red right here. And it has to be the heart. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, hold still. Okay. Okay. We're getting it. All right, so in this column, we need yellow. And it can't be here. So the yellow has to go here. Uh, and it can't, this can't be, it's not a heart. We do need a heart in this row, or in this column. Like, but the heart cannot go there, so right here has to be a yellow heart. Not so fast. Slowly. Slowly. Scoot. Scoot over. Come on. Why won't it go left? There we go. Okay, clicking and dragging like that helps. Great. Okay, so we need a green in this column, but we are missing a circular hexagonal. Come on, scoot. Very slippery. Great, okay, so this needs a blue star. There, okay, that looks good. Okay. All right, we need yellow in this row, and it can't be here, so yellow is only... There. Red has to go here. Move this out of the way a little bit. Come on. Large control. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, that's where the... That's where that goes. Alright, time for the moon. Green star. Okay, can I return the gem? No, I can't. That's a bummer. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Wait, what, what did I take? A map? Hey, that's a mountain. Okay. 
Okay, so I betcha X marks the spot somewhere up here. I don't know where the Rowan tree is located. click or rotate it or anything like that. Can't use the key. Okay. I wonder if 2C marks the spot on this. Someplace. significant. I better check it out. Oh, okay, I had to make her talk about it. Alright, let's go back. Oh, a shovel! I'll take it. We're gonna need it. We're just gonna steal things now. mentioned on the map is this way. It's getting dark soon. I'm not going out there with that headlamp. Aww. So I need a headlamp. Alright, we gotta ask about a headlamp, huh? Who would have that? I know where we can use that key. Silver key. Great. Try that. Oops. There we go. Let's try this. <gasps> Amelia Goldstone! Yes, who are you? I'm Marcelina. Oscar sent me to look for you. Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay, but thank goodness you found me. Things were beginning to look bad. How did you end up here? I found an anchor on the beach a few days ago, and I thought I should turn it in. It was etched with symbols and looked like it might be of historical value. It was too heavy, so I went to the ranger station to see if he could help me bring it back to town. Instead, he walked me down here. He believes the anchor mentioned in Grace O'Malley's riddle. I can solve the rest of the riddle. That may or may not be the case, but there's no way I'm going to help him. In 
the treasure exists, it belongs to this country, not to a kidnapping treasure bank. When you get back. Let's get you out of here. Oh, I guess I've got to go find that treasure. They see me wandering off to do park maintenance. But this is a big mountain. You can only dig so many holes before you start getting carpal tunnel. In all my nights of hard work, I never found anything. I was about to believe the treasure didn't exist. That is, until your friend found that anchor. I'm lucky she came to talk to me about it instead of the police. Another perk of being park ranger, I suppose, is that I'm to be notified of anything unusual found on park lands. But why did she have to kidnap Amelia? She had nothing to do with this. Unfortunate, really. I'm not much of a thinking man, but your friend has quite a lot of knowledge about this area. I figured if anyone could help solve that riddle, she could. And then I could stop digging and we'd both be wealthy. I didn't want to hurt her, honest. She could have just helped me find the treasure and we wouldn't be in this mess. I offered to split it with her, even. But she wouldn't tell me anything about that clue she found. We had the sword and the anchor. We were so close. And instead of helping, she threatened to go to the police instead and tell them what we've been doing. Why did you put the sword in my room? That was my business associate. Been calling in some favors at the inn. A great criminal mastermind can't work alone. It all paid off because now Aaron and I will both be rich. You're not getting a hold of this treasure. Sorry, but you're wrong. The time to play Mr. Nice Guy is over. You've found what I've been looking for, and now I can't let you or Amelia or anyone else stand in my way. Oh, um, green jewel, rope, shovel, 
We give him a jewel. Gotcha. Try again. Okay. Um, rope. Use the rope on him. Compass, gold key, shovel. Um. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Brutal. Now tie him up. You're not going anywhere. Oh, slow fade. I was able to keep Ranger Shanahan from getting away long enough for the police to arrive. He and his accomplice will be getting what they deserve by spending a long time behind bars. Grace's treasure was returned to the National Museum of Ireland, and her sword and compass were returned to the Sligo History Museum. Amelia was able to finish her book in time, and then she decided to take some time off. After everything she's been through, she'll probably be off to somewhere sunny and warm for a while. Finn started to start a local open mic night, even giving himself a platform to try out his jokes. If he gets good enough, maybe his comedy career will take him all the way to Dublin. The discovery of, of treasure in Sligo brought many more tourists into town, and Sorcy decided to start her own fairy tours. She made me promise to come visit again so that I can go on a tour. Thanks for playing! We hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, please leave a review on Steam and subscribe to our email list to be notified when the next game comes out. MarcellaMoon.com Yay! Oh, that's it. Alright, thanks for watching and keep an eye out for the next gameplay and also her new game coming out, uh, which is Curse of the Black Cat. I forget what it's called, but keep an eye out for that on Steam. And I will see you in the next video.